What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today is the start of the third series. I came back. After losing the first series, I won the second series in four games, just like Blinky won the first series in four games. And now it comes down to this third series, best of five. So the three decks that we're going to be bringing to this last series, these three new decks, are pretty pretty fun. Um, this is Mono Growth. This is a late game growth deck. Uh, unlike um, unlike the uh, Agri Growth deck that we were able to get two wins off last um, last series. So pretty normal growth deck. That's kind of old though. I mean, it has new cards, but this kind of growth style has been around forever. Where you just ramp up to God Hand and have these quakes just in case. And then we have late game order so another thing similar to that growth deck this is like kind of the old school order deck again new cards like eternal sword and recipe punch is not new but i would not used to use it without the uh, buff to it um so i think it's still a good deck with a certain matchup and um again so since we had nine individual decks like i couldn't use aggro order twice so i have to use lagger order and late game order so we're using late game order in this third uh third series and the um last deck is something I'm sure you all will enjoy. Grave locks. Yes, I'm going to use grave locks. Uh, why? Because they're fun. Also, why? Because I couldn't think of another deck to use. I mean, there probably is some other decks that are probably better than this that I was allowed to use. Um, that wouldn't be colliding. That would be too similar with any of my other eight decks. But this is different. This is fun. Um, I'm gonna try it out. We didn't get to use our mono energy range deck last time, so this is also be nice to uh to get an energy deck out. And I actually think I'm gonna lead off with this one because I think, I mean, if I run to decay or energy, it would be kind of bad because the, this really revolves around having elders out. And if you get your elders killed, you kind of lose. So it might be a bad decision to lead off, but if I can get growth or order, I think I'll be okay. So wish me luck. And here I go into the last series. Whoever wins the series, me or Blinky, wins it all. What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and welcome to the final series of Deck Wars between me and Blinky, and I am starting off with the Gravelock deck, uh, probably my most fun deck of all the nine decks I chose. And three, we do have an early spark, but three Elders in our starting hand. That could be good if he doesn't have anything like to play or before us. We don't know what he's playing, we're gonna draw a new starting hand, I want earlier drops. And I get, okay, drops. Um... I do get a burn and a grave like outcast. Actually, I like that draw. I like I like how it I drew. So now, what does this thing do again? I need to. Yeah, pay two hundred to destroy a tower more and increase growth by one. So does that give away that we're playing grave locks? Okay, growth against grave. Lock. I actually think that's a good matchup for me. Um, I'm going to not pay the two energy to get growth just yet. I'm going to get rid of this. He probably is really confused right now. Like, what is Nerp doing? <laughs> so hopefully doesn't he has a brave. I can burn that brave. A, a greeter I don't wanna I don't really wanna sack that little club. I'll do it. Even if he's able to damage his outcast, I could always heal it up with growth. Now I'm going to um so hope it doesn't have another brave or something with one countdown. I don't wanna see something with one countdown. A mystic, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, um Corrode. Yes, I have crows in this deck. I'm going to burn you. And then I am going to hope I can get away and get an Elder soon. That'd be awesome. And we're just going to blow... It's not that urgent to blow this up. My only growth card is like a... I believe my only growth scroll is... You get a bounce special. That's good. But this Raider is what we need to put out first. Um, I mean, he's gonna go down in house, so I'm not. I'm gonna sack the bounce dispersal, and I get desperation. Desperation would do it, right? That would, that would do it. So you're gonna die. Um, if I do, I pay the two growth, but he can kill me with like a couple of ragged wolves. So let's not do that. Let's go ahead. We only need one. What? Wait. Grave. Uh, Whatever it's called, the growth guy that gets relentless and not has relentless and gets extra attack from grave locks. He uh 
It's two costs. We don't need both Trout Morals out here. I'm going to just play the Raider behind. And that'll be that. And I can start sacking for Wild, and hopefully I can get a Elder out. He's growth. You already seen it like a mono growth deck, I think. Like a late game mono growth deck. I'm gonna keep that desperation because uh, this guy can use that. Okay. Hmm. We have an elf, that's good. If we pay the 200 to break this, do we get, I think we only get the growth that I did the denominator, so I'm not gonna be able to heal this guy off straight away. And I, and I don't want, and if I was going to heal him straight away, he'd only have three health. I don't want him dying to a, uh, what's it called? A vet. So once we get this elder out, this guy's going to be able to be really good. And that's there. Um, we have Fury. Mash I'm going to keep the Machinated and the Desperation. That's really good with the Relentless, dude. So let's go ahead and do this. He can get a, uh, like, a uh, veteran on this elder if he wants right now. I don't really mind. He's probably, uh, wanting to... I'm glad, I'm actually really glad he was growth for this first match, because if he was, like, some kind of decay or energy, I would be afraid of violent dispersals, and he's really a gr of gridlock deck. You just have to get these elders to work. You can't let them die. And... Against something else other than growth or order, order has flips too, which could easily kill it. But growth has a hard way of dealing with it. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? I think we want to sacrifice desperation, maybe, or the mash. I don't know. I kind of wish I had that fury now, but I mean, we're not close to killing him just yet. I want to keep the spark. I'm gonna sacrifice the desperation, and we get another elder, and we get a grave hawk too. I gotta get the other elder out. I do want to break this so I can actually heal this guy up, but I will just go ahead and do this. We'll put you in front in case he has like a double ragged, uh, a double ragged wolf crimson bull. So it looks good so far. Um, showing that grave lock love. Well, we'll get it. We can actually get a crude win pretty fast two early grave grave um grave like elders it will be interesting what he thinks is going to be a good counter to this deck i assume it's going to be decay or energy so he has balance dispersals and damage curses to get rid of the elders because the elders are really the thing that make this deck work I think there's like a deck or two that i could have had in place of this grave lock deck to put on these nine individual decks but i don't think this is in the top nine decks in scrolls but um, it was fun to play. Blinky did uh, did uh, win three matches to win the first series of the deck wars using a not so used deck yellow decay. So let's see if this can do well. That wildling can be annoying, but not yet. Uh, we're not gonna move down. I mean, I don't think there's much of a reason to. Yes, we can kill this. Actually, we could move down and just like sacrifice something. That would not be that big that a problem. I'm gonna be honest. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of the spark and sacrifice. Wait, let's let's pull this up first. Uh, yeah, it does it dominate. So now I can sacrifice for wilds. I'm not, I'm not gonna sacrifice for resources at all yet. Wait, if I sacrifice for wild, are you, is that going to be enough to make you... I'm just going to sacrifice for wild. Now, can I heal you up? Yes, I can heal you up. And I'm going to let him kill me. Kill that guy. We're going to have a steady flow of grave locks. So, I don't have much of a problem with doing that. I'm going to move you back here. I'm gonna put an outcast up here. So we have lots of big things on the board. So we're letting him take down one of our big things. But we're also saving ourselves some idle damage. And he would have to move up 
and we can just move down. I don't really love that I had to move this gray block raider up because I want him down there, but he's not gonna attack anyways. And is he gonna move it like he's gonna move up now? I have to, now Valdis Brothers does not kill him right away. So I almost wish I had the spark with, with me. This is not even though I had a very good start, this is not over. Um let's see. I do want a mountain dispersal now. Okay, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Alright, he takes down stuff. Okay, it's on giant. I don't think that's gonna be a big thing to do right now. A corrode and a thunder surge. Uh we can't play the Gravehawk and the Thunder Surge in the same turn, sadly. I think our Crow is a thing for next turn. Let's go with the Thunder Surge. And is it possible he's gonna win if we move away from here? If he has these two idols here. I you, you'll be if he has a Crimson Bull. If he has two Crimson, oh yeah, a uh, Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull would be four plus four plus three. A Ragged Crimson Bull would not win the game. A double crimson bull would not win in the game, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna feel safe moving up. If I if I'm gonna lose this, if I see I'm gonna lose in a second, I'm going to be quite upset with myself because I didn't see how he could possibly win. Well, actually, he can get this to have much higher attack with things next to it. So ragged wolf with a double ragged crimson bull wins the game. And you can still do that. He's five cards. I may have just made a big mistake. It doesn't look like is he gonna be able to win? Blinky usually says GG before he has the winning play. He usually says GG and then you see him win. So that's the most of what players do actually. Okay, it doesn't look like he's gonna be able to win. Because the Rat King is no Crimson Bull. But that also means I'm probably not gonna be able to do much. But I am gonna be able to kill this wildling with the machinated. I don't think I'm gonna be able to win with the corrode, or will I? Actually, I think I am gonna be able to win with the corrode. I think that's GG. So, oh, plus resistance is pretty good. Um, that's three damage there, so we just, let's just disregard that. If that has, um, if that has, let's say, the mashing needed, let's say you have eight attack, so then you'll use four attack there, so you'll do four damage there, and then, yeah, it's GG. GG WP. Easily GG. There we go, we got the Kurod win. And that's the game. We win get we won a game with our Grave Block deck. That is awesome. And we get the leg up in this final series of deck wars, and we're gonna try to uh continue this winning streak. So um Thank you all for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, and check out Blinky's Perspective if you want to, and what else is there, uh, keep on scrolling everybody, so I will see you all in the next video.